how do you correctly align a derailleur hanger in order for your reed relay to shift really precisely. This piece right here, which is called the derailleur hanger, which is actually a separate piece that uh, screws onto the frame, needs to be perfectly aligned, uh, perfectly straight. Otherwise, the shifting won't, just won't be good. So first point is really important. Be sure that your wheel is actually nicely and snugly into the, in the frame. For that, you can put it on the floor, open the rear um, quick release, have some weight pushing down on the bike, ideally yourself, while closing the quick release. That way you're sure that it is actually in the frame. So there's no worries, because if the rear uh, wheel is already not in the frame, not aligned, it will already not work. Be sure that's the first point. Then of course you want to undo your rear derailleur or if you're doing a service or a, a cleanup, you may already have uh, taken it off. Then you'll need a derailleur hanger alignment tool or a derailleur alignment gauge, anything like that. Uh, there are different names. This one right here is from Abby. You may have seen my videos about it. It's the hack uh, hanger alignment gauge because this right here is the hanger. Relay, relay, hanger. Of course, those tools can be really, really expensive. This right here retails for like 250 to $300, I guess. Then there are, of course, cheaper ones. But if you want a quality one, you're gonna have to invest quite a bit of money. What you need is, of course, you need to have the correct thread right here, which I believe is an M10 uh, by one. I'm not 100% sure. And then you need uh, the, the piece that can rotate around this screw and ideally with minimal to no play at all. So it needs to be a nicely, uh, precisely made tool, but it can be made at home if you have machining skills. Like I said, there are cheaper tools. What you need is of course to screw it in perfectly, snug, and then have this piece right here. And if you don't have a sophisticated tool like the Abbey and you just have these, uh, this metal piece, you can of course also take measurements with a uh, measurement tool, with a ruler, I don't know how that's called, basically a, a tool like this. But I'm gonna show you how you can take measurements with an actual tool and then also with this uh, ruler right here. Basically it's pretty simple. You have this point right here where we pivot around. And then we have the rim because the wheel is our reference point, right? And you want to take measurements relatively to the rim from this point on out. Of course, the more points you measure, the more precise it will be, but normally four points are enough. In essence, it's the six o'clock position, the 12 o'clock position, the nine uh, o'clock position, and the three o'clock position then you'll be fine if you have aligned those four points. So we take measurement, I mostly take measurements, first of all, at the six o'clock position uh, on the below, but it's not really important where you begin because you will soon see if it's aligned or not. So we take this little measuring like pin right here and we contact the rim and take always take the same reference point. The simplest would be Always take the measurement at the valve. So six of position right here. Um, we align this piece at the valve. So we have this reference right here, right? Then we're going to go ahead and check the nine o'clock position. And we see it doesn't, uh, it doesn't touch it. So there we are like one millimeter or uh, maybe even two out of alignment. Let's check the 12 o'clock position which is about the same. So that tells me it's not too, too bad. I mean, I have seen bikes where the, the hanger was like multiple, uh, several centimeters out of alignment, but this right here is actually pretty, pretty okay. What do you do once you took the measurements? We take the same reference point, six o'clock. You want to have the measuring pin, pin always nicely touching the rim. So you know that you have the same uh, amount of distance and that way the hanger is perfectly aligned right parallel to the wheel and and thus also parallel to the cassette what uh, that's what you want for perfect shifting right so you actually take your tool and you bend the derailleur in the direction that you want it to have in that case i would need to bend in that case i would need to bend my three o'clock position inwards so we have it touching right here. We recheck the six o'clock position, which is, which is still aligned. Uh, so that's perfect. We check the 
12 o'clock position and we see still not touching so we bend it in that direction and be sure when you bend it it, it can be pretty soft they can break pretty uh, quickly so be sure to always uh, bend it really really uh, softly uh, be gentle with it try to be gentle it's not easy in my career I have I broke many uh, derailed hangers of course they are replaceable they cost like 30 to 40 uh, bucks not too expensive but it is really well it's a pretty shit situation if you break one because you have to order it because there are uh, several hundred different hangers around there especially if you have city bikes old city bikes that don't yet have the UDH of course so yeah be gentle with it really minimal corrections and not too harsh so you won't break it now I have all my points aligned my pin right here is touching the rim at all four positions nicely so just lightly you know and by lightly I mean like this lightly scratches it as I swing past you can hear it right here just lightly it doesn't really push on it how do you do it if you don't have a fancy um, gauge like this well I hope you have a, a, a tool or a piece that has this metal piece right here which is straight then you take your ruler and you take the distance from the rim at the point of the valve and you have some kind of reference right here ideally you have a, a line carved or drawn on to the piece where you always can take the same uh, point for your measurement right and then you just go around like this and until you have the same distance at all four points and you'll have a perfectly aligned derailleur hanger so of course this is also pretty well possible what i like of course about the abbey tool for instance is that it is ultra agile uh, if you have especially if you have a 26 28 29 inch wheel uh, you can basically do any bike no matter how many accessoires you have mounted you can see that i can rotate it around and take my measurements at all points that i want of course here we have the rack so we are a little bit limited because of the distance but we can you, but you see i can take my measurement right here even right here down there and any point and this is really the aim and also you're pretty pretty fast where if you can rotate the tool around if you have it like mounted like this and fixed you would always need to undo everything and recheck but like this you <coughs> you keep your reference point pretty pretty exactly where it is so you are quick and you're precise and that's basically what you want plus it is really compact but that uh, if you have seen my videos you already know how compact it is and if you own one yourself in my opinion the best hanger alignment gauge that is around at the moment of course there are others that have produced really nice pieces now and i believe on aliexpress you can get one like for like 30 or 40 bucks and it's not too bad it has a little bit play uh, i've seen some videos and maybe i will order one myself to check it out because that's really what you want you would want a uh, gauge without any play because if you have play at that distance it's already making a huge difference like uh, one to th three millimeters easily and then your hanger is uh, again off so once your hanger is aligned of course you can then attach your rear derailleur again and you know that now only the cable tension and the limit screws uh, need to be adjusted for perfect shifting of course also the b screw if you happen to have one but this is really the most important part of uh, shifting it's 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 the base the hanger needs to be perfectly aligned otherwise you just won't get nice shifting and this is how it's done thank you very much for checking out this video uh, i see you in the next one if you have any uh, ideas or any uh, requests for instruction videos tell me in the comment section below and i'll see what i can do Bye bye